Hey guys, it's me, Jenny B, here riding solo. Welcome back to our channel. <gasps> I broke it! Today's video is gonna be a little bit different because while we were cleaning out our storage area, I found a gold mine. These are stories I wrote as a child. Let's get started. Jump Roping by Jennifer. To Joni and Dwayne and Tommy and Dolly. Joni and Dwayne, parents, Tommy and Dolly, cats. So this was probably written between the ages of eight and 10, again. Did a lot of write. I just saw something in the illustration that I didn't see before. But let's just read it. There once was a girl named Jennifer. She tried to learn to jump rope. Kids at school tried to help her, but it was no use. She couldn't jump rope. She tried her best to jump, but when she did, she was too late. Then in the picture that you'll see, Jennifer, clearly labeled nicely, is very sad. Rachel is saying, you can do it. And that was one of my friends growing up, by the way. And then in the ground, which I just noticed, there's an ant that says, go Jennifer. This page got stapled upside down, so let's just flip it over. My illustrations got less and less elaborate as we went on, which is just how I was as a kid. I would get bored. Kids cheered her on, but it made it worse. She hated not being able to jump rope. Hated. H-A-D-E-D. -E One day she was outside trying to jump rope, then her jump rope flew out of her hands. She ran, 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 and ran. Finally, Stopped. She got it, picked it up. Soon she was able to jump rope. Yay. The end. Also want to point out my glasses somehow mysteriously disappeared on page three. So now we got a journal. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. <clears throat> third grade. In third grade, I learned a lot because I had a very good teacher named Mrs. Blank. I learned my times tables and a lot else. Even though I wasn't in her class the whole year, I know her very well. She's the nicest teacher in the world. Thank you, Mrs. October 23rd, 2006. <laughs> Weekend news. Yesterday was my half birthday, and I turned nine and a half. Now I only have six more months until I turn ten. On Saturday, my dad, mom, and me went Christmas shopping. I got a lot of stuff for under the tree. We went to Kmart and Navy. And Navy. So far, fourth grade is okay. I think we deserve four tickets at the end of the day if we stay on awesome behavior. I also think the prices should go down in the class store. I think also we should have lighter textbooks. Another thing is I want more time for science. I hate science now, so we must have gotten more time and then I started hating it. Lighter textbooks is a genius idea. Also wanted to just read my teacher's note. Four tickets at the end of the day? Cheaper thanks to the store? You're joking, right? Happy face. And then I commented back. No, I'm not joking. Slugs. The slugs were icky and slimy. They also looked like little pickles. This. They also looked like little pickles. This is a page of me trying to figure out how to spell maybe and dying. Concerns? I think yes. What if kids ruled the world? If kids ruled, it would be catastrophic. I spelt that wrong. My teacher tried to be nice and said, ooh, big word, and spelt it right. I spelt it catastrophic. Catastrophic? I know all the kids reading this are probably wondering why it would be so horrible. Well, here's why. For one thing, the kids would probably make a no school rule. And now kids, would you mind telling me how you're gonna learn? Well, it's aggressive. If I was invisible, many things would happen. Nothing else was written, so my teacher wrote, 
such as such as what Jenny I love Miss L during the first quarter but I'll see how she is second quarter tree I don't know what I would do I would probably scream but I don't know other people would think it would be really cool but not me what would you do answer here What would I do about what? Why are you mean? I like it. What about you? I like it too. Cool. If I had a million dollars, I would buy a car. I could also buy a house. I would also be a millinar. A millinar? I don't know what this is. Hi, my name is Christy. I live in Oregon. I do not have very good luck. Today something horrible happened. Here it is. Today, after I got my lunch and I was out of line, I went to my usual table, which is the loser table. Before I got there, I slipped. I slipped on a banana peel, right in front of Jameson, which is my crush. The worst part is that Stefania laughed an evil laugh that sounded like this. Mwahaha! She laughed because she put the peel there. My flavor is strawberry. <gasps> That's the end and everyone's grateful. That's all I have for you today, folks. And, uh... Now the lighting is absolutely horrid. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.